In this video, we'll look at the solubility of methanol in water. That's CH3OH plus H2O. So when we look at methanol, the black, that's the carbon. We have the whites, these are the hydrogens. And then the red, that's the oxygen. Methanol is a polar molecule. So because it's a polar molecule and because it's a small molecule, this is going to be soluble in water. You can see the red, the oxygen here, Oxygen's more electronegative than hydrogen or carbon, so it's going to have a slight negative charge. The hydrogen here have a slight positive, and the rest of the molecule, it'll be positive as well. So water is a polar molecule. So we bring a water molecule in, and we can see the water molecule. We have the negative oxygen, positive hydrogens, and the positives, the hydrogens, they kind of line up with the negative here from this oxygen. So they're attracted, opposite charges. We have another water molecule come in here, and the negative and the positive, they're attracted. And then down here, again, the negative and the positive attracted. So these molecules, they've surrounded the methanol molecule. So we have these water molecules surrounding the methanol molecule. That means methanol, CH3OH, that's going to be soluble in water. It's surrounded by water molecules, so it's dissolved in the water, and it spreads out, forms a homogeneous solution. As we add more carbons, here we only have one, but if we had two, three, four, five, six, and so on, the solubility would decrease. So here's a table showing us that. And you can see the trend. As we get down to 10 carbons attached to that alcohol group, it's insoluble in water. And that's because as the molecule gets longer, the water molecules, they can surround this end here, but they have more trouble surrounding the other end, meaning that it's not soluble in water. This is Dr. V with the solubility for methanol, CH3OH, in water. Thanks for watching.